Hello everyone, and greetings from the future. The video you're watching right now was recorded in the year 3000, so we decided to keep up with this rather strange trend and travel briefly to the future. You're probably thinking right now, what is this nonsense? And you're actually right, we're joking. But you might have noticed that in 2018 there are a lot of so-called time travellers. In today's video, we're going to tell you all about them, and we want you to meet these unique people. Let's get it on. In the 90s, people were just crazy trying to create time machines or to find some time portal. Various experiments were conducted, and many people volunteered to be part of them. Where am I? Are you gods or are you men? I you. Oh! 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 Just to see what the world would be like in a few hundred or even thousands of years. By the way, some managed to do it. Our first hero says that he became part of a top secret program in the 1990s. He was supposedly an experimental subject, and scientists sent him to the distant future. According to him, time machines have long been not just cool toys for children or props for sci-fi movies. But shh, don't tell anyone about what you're going to hear right now. It's a secret, promise? According to this man, people have had the technology for traveling through time for decades now, and they test and improve it every day. <sighs> sounds delirious. To be honest, we also thought so. But then, how do you explain that this guy has a mystical artifact which he received during his visit to the future? Now, you may notice that the actual picture itself is a little distorted. Uh, that is because in the time travel process, pictures tend to get distorted. <laughs> In this picture, you see some futuristic city, which you definitely can't find on our planet today. The man claims that he was sent to the year 6000 to see how much the life of the Earthlings would have changed by then, and then immediately returned. Hey, stop giggling and laughing at this story. By the way, this experiment was very risky for our hero, because if in 4000 years the humanity would have been destroyed by some cataclysm or entered a new dark age like the Middle Ages, time travel technology would have been lost, and this man would would never have been able to go back, and now we wouldn't know what it's like, the 6,000th year. Nevertheless, the things our hero saw in the future struck him to the core. During the interview, the guy couldn't find the right words to describe it. According to him, our distant future has changed so much, and the technology has reached such an incredible level that it's really hard to believe. By the year 6000, medicine will be so advanced that our current science can be considered primitive and pathetic. Just imagine, teleportation will be used in the future all the time, and travelling in time will become as common as brewing a coffee or jogging in the morning. People will be able to travel to the future and the past, remaining invisible and in no way influencing the course of history. The man says that this is a really advanced technology for time travelling, and when he was sent from the 1990s into the 6000s, he had to prove to everyone he was from the past and ask for an admission to a time machine. By the way, according to our hero, in 2028, we will all learn about this technology, and experts will openly use it for commercial purposes. And of course, there will be first-time tourists, obviously rich people, who will be able to travel to the future for lots of money. Today, many people are afraid that soon there will be a rising of the machines, and robots will control people. But by the year 6000, the government will be replaced by an advanced artificial intelligence. It will anticipate quadrillions of options, and choose the most favourable, and any person will be able to upload their consciousness into a smart machine and live forever, becoming part of this amazing computer. Although today, people are not completely sure whether it's ethically correct to develop artificial intelligence. But keep calm, there's not going to be a rising of the machines. Of course, you can listen to these stories and think about whether they're true or if this person just wanted some attention. Nevertheless, don't forget that the man managed to take a picture when he was in the year 6000. <coughs> If you look closely, you can see fantastic buildings, and something very similar to a huge flying saucer in the air. Is this really a photo of the future, or is someone just trying to gain more likes? By the way, our hero also made an unexpected confession. The man said that he went to the future not alone, but with his best friend, who also volunteered for the experiment. When they wanted to go back, there was some kind of malfunction in the time machine, and the friend of our hero had to stay there. At least this is what our hero thinks. Maybe his friend simply refused to leave this utopian reality and decided to stay in it forever. 
Maybe he uploaded his consciousness into a supercomputer so that it'll last forever. The man hopes that in 2028, he will be allowed to use the time machine again to return to the year 6000 and continue to live there, like his lost best friend. At the end of this story, you would expect to see the man waking up and thinking, oh, what a strange dream. But no, he wasn't the only person with a time-traveling story. Looks like someone started a new trend, which has become really popular over the last year. How else can you explain the fact that all time travelers suddenly found photos of their future in their houses? and decided to upload it to YouTube at once. Especially for you, we found some more stories about time tourists. So, prepare to be surprised, or to laugh at really incredible and slightly crazy stories. So, another time traveler, oddly enough, took just one picture of the future. More exactly, of Los Angeles in the year 5000. Like in the previous case, the identity of this hero remains a secret. However, the man introduced himself as Edward. According to him, he took part in a secret experiment in 2004, during which he visited the future. Edward claims that the picture clearly shows how the huge metropolis will look in the distant 5000th year. And of course, the man says that the photo is genuine, but like the previous time traveler, he refuses to give the picture for examination. In fact, we understand him. He doesn't want to pass from being a time traveler to being a normal Photoshop enthusiast. Apparently, everything will change in the next 3,000 years. Do you remember what the first time traveler told us? Now, listen to what Edward says about the distant future. The moment he first saw this underwater city, he didn't believe it. He was shocked and amazed. The man said that he was standing on a wooden platform, and houses, buildings, and other structures around him were made of wood too. Will humanity forget about innovative technologies and start making buildings using wood, like in ancient times? Ah, nonsense. However, the traveler assures that the humanity would live underwater as a result of melting glaciers due to global warming. By the way, Edward decided to share his picture only now, because he saw recently that another time traveler was talking about the future. See, told you, a real flash mob. Our next hero is Alexander Smith, a US citizen who claims that he visited the future during another secret experiment, and he managed to take just one picture from there. But this tourist from the future only managed to visit the year 2118. According to Alexander, in 1981, he volunteered to participate in a CIA secret experiment. Now he's afraid for his life and he's hiding from the CIA, because he unveiled what had to remain secret. In this picture which Smith shared with us, you can see skyscrapers of unusual shapes with a green glow, and in the sky there are black dots resembling flying cars. However, Alexander didn't specify where exactly this picture was taken, but he said that the government sees the original photograph, and he only has a low-quality copy. And as for the future, the robots allegedly told him that in the middle of the 21st century, smart aliens would come to Earth. We don't know what exactly Smith meant, but if you believe his words, then very soon we will meet an unearthly civilization. Perhaps the famous physicist Stephen Hawking was right when he said that in the coming decades, humankind will start to interact interact with extraterrestrial beings. The more stories we found, the more improbable and funny they seem to us. Meet another time traveler. What do you think? Where did he go? Turns out he was able to bypass all his competitors in the number of invented facts. So, this guy here, Mark, said that he'd been in the year 10,000. And as you could already guess, he of course took a picture of a futuristic city from the distant future. According to him, people live side by side with aliens, and he got there by accident. In 2008, while studying in America, Mark met a professor who offered him to travel to the future. The guy thought for a while and then agreed. In the year 10,000, there are cars flying in the sky and aliens walking on our streets. By the way, people also learn to fly using nanotechnology. Everywhere there are humanoid robots and holograms, and when Mark returned, he really wanted to travel again into the future. But when the next day he came to the professor, he was not at home, and the time machine had disappeared without a trace. So, compared to other travelers, the story the guy who visited the year 6000 sounds almost plausible. Well, at least his story doesn't sound like notes from the diary of an amateur science fiction writer. But we know how to really travel in time. This Canadian guy uses Photoshop to place an adult version of himself on his children's photos. This is much more interesting than the rest of the stories.
Amazing gadgets, upcoming technologies, incredible inventions, and other cool stuff related to high tech on TechZone. Subscribe, you won't regret it. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.